doctor and Amy are getting recognized by the camera. Good job. My hair is really short. Um. I just got a new camera, so this is just as much a test video as it is anything else. Um, I guess the old one worked just well enough, the, the little flip cam that I made pretty much all of those videos on. This camera, this lovely JVC that my uh, grandmother bought for me is my 18th birthday present, even though I don't turn 18 until October. Um, who's complaining? It's not this guy. I'm not complaining. Um, I'm actually very appreciative because I love it. It's beautiful. Um, so there's that. I just bought uh, the collected fairy tales of the Brothers Grimm, uh, the Barnes and Noble edition. So first off, um, I expected when I opened up the table of contents that there would be, you know, maybe a couple of pages of stories. It turns out, page, 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 page. Half page. Um, and there are a lot of them, and there are... I haven't heard of a lot of these, which kind of makes me sad. Brother and Sister. Woo! The Death of the Hen. Mr. Corbs, one of my former voice teachers, she used to think that the name Rapunzel... She and her sister used to think that the name Rapunzel was pronounced Rapunzel. I'll allow you to draw your own conclusions from there. Mr. Corbs. <clears throat> a cock and a hen once wanted to go on a journey together. So the cock built a beautiful carriage with four red wheels, and he harnessed four little mice to it. What a terrible, terrible chicken. And the cock and the hen got into it and were driven off by, I guess, the mice. Very soon they met a cat who asked where they were going. The cock answered, on Mr. Corbs, a call to pay, and that is where we go today. Take me with you, said the cat. The cock answered very well, only you must sit well back, and then you will not fall forward. And pray take care of my red wheels there, and wheels to be steady, and mice be ready, on Mr. Corb's a call to pay, for that is where we go today. What? Okay. So they're going to say hey to Mr. Corb's, who's... a dude. Then there came up a millstone, then an egg, then a duck, then a pin, and lastly a needle, who all got up on the carriage and were driven along. But when they came to Mr. Corbs's house, he was not at home, so the mice drew the carriage into the barn. Is it really shocking that Mr. Corbs wasn't at home? This guy whom we've never heard of up until this point. So the mice drew the carriage into the barn. The cock and the hen flew up and perched on a beam. The cat sat by the fireside. The duck settled on the water, but the egg wrapped itself in the towel. The pin stuck itself in the chair cushion. The needle jumped into the bed among the pillows, and the millstone laid itself by the door. Then Mr. Corbs came home and went to the hearth to make a fire, but the cat threw ashes in his eyes. Then he ran quickly into the kitchen to wash himself, but the duck splashed water in his face. Then he was going to wipe it with the towel, but the egg broke in it and stuck his eyelids together. In order to get a little peace, he sat down in his chair, but the pin ran into him, and starting up in his vexation, he threw himself on the bed. But as his head fell on the pillow, in went the needle, so that he called out, with the pain and madly rushed out. But when he reached the house door, the millstone jumped up and struck him dead. What a bad man Mr. Corbs must have been. Okay. What? I mean, was there a moral to that story? Don't let people assume you're a bad person or farm animals and inanimate objects will torture and kill you? I guess the only other thing that's really on my mind right now is on Monday I get to get up and be at my school at 7 o'clock in the morning for freshman orientation which would be fine if it were my freshman orientation but uh, I am in fact orientating 
freshman orientizing orientifying and what what are you talking about I don't know why are you still watching this is I guess really the question I'm asking um, get out oh, wow.